In this video in the Felixo Getting Started series, let's take a look at how we can use Felixo to build a worksheet with filters which allow us to easily adjust what data we are viewing. In this worksheet, we have already added the chart of accounts and used a single account name function with an array reference to all the accounts. For this example, we want to also view the account ending balances, but we want to be able to filter the data for different ledgers and by financial period. To start, we are going to use the actual ledger and the final period for the financial year. When we add the financial period in the cell, we need to ensure that it is in the format that is expected by the ERP, specifically two digits for the period, a dash, and four digits for the financial year. To keep Excel from converting it to a date, we either need to format the cell as text or simply prefix the value with a single quotation or tick mark. Since we have prefixed the period with a single quotation mark, we can now type in the full financial period and press enter. Now we can add the account ending balance function that we learned about in the previous video. Let's use the function wizard. After we click on the cell, we can click here and then choose the Velixo General Ledger category and select the function. After typing in the connection, we can input C1 for the ledger, A6 for the account, being sure to add the number sign after the cell reference so that we are referencing the entire array returned by the function in that cell, and we'll lock down the column so we can copy this later and C3 for the period. We are skipping some of the function parameters, such as branch. When we leave a parameter blank, it simply tells the system that we want to include every possible value for that parameter. We can click OK, and we now have the ending balance for the actual ledger for each account as of the specified financial period. The filters allow us to quickly update our worksheet. For example, we can change the financial period, and we see the data update. While we can stick with typing in which ledger we wish to view, we may want to create a drop-down selection box with the ledger selections to enable a quicker change. Excel's data validation feature can help us with this. We just click on the cell, select the data ribbon, and then click data validation. Once the dialog appears, we'll select list, under Allow, and then type in our ledgers, separated by commas, in the source field. After we click OK, we can use that cell as a drop-down menu and select our desired ledger. If we select Budget, we will see the numbers update. And then we can easily switch back to Actual. If we want to be able to compare our actual and budget ledgers at the same time, we can put them side by side. We'll select the ledger, financial period, and balance functions, and copy them to the next column. Now let's select our budget ledger for the second column. We now see all the actual and budget data for our chart of accounts. If we do not want to include the accounts with a zero budget balance, we can clean up our worksheet by highlighting all the budget values, and then selecting Auto Hide Unhide from the pull down menu under Hide Zero Rows. The worksheet will quickly update, and those rows with a zero budget balance are now hidden. If we want to bring them back, we simply click on Unhide All. We can also use this column to display a different period from the same ledger by simply adjusting the filters at the top of the column. We all know that the data in our ERP is constantly being updated. By clicking the Refresh All button, we can perform a Smart Refresh, which will update our worksheet with any changes made to our data since our last refresh. The Smart Refresh is very fast for this report and will only take a little longer if we have a larger report with multiple ledgers or financial years. We also see the option for Full Refresh. The full refresh option is useful if we have a major configuration change in our system, such as changing account code lengths, the sub-account structure, or permissions. 
Full refresh is also a good idea if any corrections or changes to our general ledger have been made in our ERP, or if we simply want to ensure that all fresh data is retrieved from our ERP. It can be helpful to have the data refreshed each time we open the workbook. Since Excel does not typically do this, we can configure Velixo to do it for us. We'll click on Options on the Velixo ribbon, and then select Refresh Data when opening the file, and then click OK. After choosing this setting, a smart refresh will be performed whenever the workbook is opened. That completes this lesson on using filters with our Velixo functions. We hope you have found this useful and look forward to seeing you in more videos from us. Thank you for watching.